Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my everyday makeup essentials. And I have Gizmo here and he just wanted to tell everybody that he is not feeling good today. And so he's being, he wants to cuddle all day long. So I've got little G here with me. But you have to sit over here. It's okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started because I do have quite a lot to talk about, but I am wearing my everyday makeup look right now. Um, so I'm going to show you that, just take off my glasses, and this is what it looks like. I love the way that it looks. It looks so natural, but a little pumped up than just being foundation and maybe bronzer. Alright, so if you want to see a tutorial, let me know. And I know my hair is looking terrible. I just don't know what to do with it. And I just wanted to do something really quick because I woke up late today. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are eyes. Um, that would be, I have been loving this Victoria's Secret eye palette in Fearless. The packaging looks like this. This is old. It's from last year. But I'm literally only using one color out of here. And that is the champagne color over here. It's this beautiful shimmering champagne. If you can find this though, and there's also a purple one called something else. I don't know what that one's called. Like, you need to find these. So if you can find them on eBay or Amazon, get them because I love all these colors in here. The only one I don't like is this one. It just doesn't do anything for me. But... I just haven't been able to find, it's got great pigmentation, I just haven't been able to find the great, the best way to use it. So that's that. But just any champagne-y color that you can put just on the inner part of your lid, the bone. Alright, and then I have been reaching for my Naked 3 palette every single day. This is my number one palette I have ever used. I really like the Naked 2. I really like the Naked 3. This is probably the best one yet. I, I've not tried the Naked one yet though, so I don't know. But I think this is the best one. Um, so for today I used Strange, which is just an ivory shade. And then for my crease I used Limit, which is just a really nice matte light pink. Um, and then I used Nooner, which is a taupey kind of pink matte shade. It's a little bit darker than Limit. And then for my outer corner, I didn't want to do anything like super dark, so I just picked up Liar on my finger and just put it on the outer corner and a little bit on the lid. And that was it. Those are like my all-time favorite ones I like to use in the palette. Um, Liar will change between Factory or Mugshot, but for the most part, I really like the way Liar looked today. So that is that. And then for um, brows and sometimes inner corner highlight, I like the Highlighting Brow Kit by Anastasia. I don't know if they still make this or if it looks like this anymore. I'm, I'm sure they probably still make it, but I don't know if it looks like this anymore. Everything I'm talking about will be listed down below. Anyways, I like to fill in my brows with this middle shade here, and then the rest, um, I'll fill in my brows with the middle shade on the bottom. Like, I'm just defining my brow, just pretty much putting a line, and then, um, I'll take the lightest shade and then fill in the rest and kind of help blend the two colors together. And that's what I did today. And I just really like the way that it looks because it kind of, if I just use one color, it doesn't look that good. When I use two colors, it looks a little bit better. And then, and sometimes I'll use the darker one, but that's a little too dark for me. But any matte, ashy tones will work for that. You don't have to use Anastasia. Um, and then for the inner corner, sometimes I'll just take my finger and tap it into the champagne, the rose gold, the rose gold or the, um, copper, or is that, co yeah, is this copper, what is this, no, this is gold, what the heck, okay, so the champagne, the gold, or the rose gold, I would just, like, put my finger in it and tap it into the inner corner, um, or I like to mix all three together and use it as a highlight, which is what I did today and it's what I've been doing, um, so I'll use that as a highlight and then I'll mix the two, the lightest shade and the middle shade as a bronzer. Since I don't have a bronzer right now, I've been using that and I've actually really been liking it. I like cool tone bronzers and this is perfect. So, um, we're transitioning into face if you couldn't tell. Um, 
my favorite foundation of all time. It will only cost you $3.57 if you buy it at Walmart. That's how much it is. Um, this is the best foundation I have ever used. This is the NYC's Smooth Skin, or one of the best. It's very comparable to CoverGirl, and it's cheaper, so this is the best. Um, anyways, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup, and I've used pretty much all of it. Um, and this is in the shade 676 Ivory, so if you are a NC20 at MAC, um, this will work for you. Um, but I like to mix this in with my Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. Um, this doesn't like make it lighter or anything. It just, when you're having, you know, you want a natural makeup look, you just want it to be really effortless. And this makes it, you know, oh, it's just going to be a tinted moisturizer. No, guys. This is a step up tinted moisturizer. Like, this is literally a foundation with a lot of hydrating benefits. So, really really like that and I um, apply this moisturizer before I start my makeup and then with like mixed in with this so that's like the bomb all right I've got some other things I didn't mention about the eyes because I got too excited about that brow palette and I already was talking about it so um, this is gonna be a, a mix-up for my concealer I have been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye lights matte in Camille it's literally a stick like this it was it was probably the same size as the NYX one but I have been using it a ton. This is my concealer. This is a matte, creamy concealer that is amazing. And let me tell you, if you are fair like me, it's very, and I know you guys already know, it's very hard to find a natural um, concealer or like a concealer that matches and it looks natural as well. This looks super natural um, and it's not cakey. You set it with powder, you're good to go. It doesn't even crease. It's amazing. And it's matte, which is like perfect, but it's got this brightening effect. Like literally, it doesn't even look like it would be a concealer because it's pink. Um, but for people that are very light and just have um, yellowy neutral undertones, this would be great for you. If you have more of the warmer undertones, I wouldn't recommend this. But um, if you're a neutral girl or a yellow girl, this is for you. Um, so yeah, again, if you're an NC20, this is for you. At MAC. Okay, favorite mascara. You can build this up or you can just apply one coat. This is the Lash Accelerator Mascara with Avec Grow Lash Complex. It looks like this. It's by Rimmel London. This is the best mascara I have ever used. And I have used the, um, the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion Extension thingy. Um, put that on and then I'll coat my lashes again. This is still the best one. It's lengths it lengthens and it's actually growing my lashes at the same time, which I love. Um, I recently just bought something on Amazon called, I don't know what it's called, but it's a mascara with an extension kit and then like a mascara. It's like, it's like a two-step mascara. I'm really interested in trying it because, um, this one, you have to apply, you have to really build this up to get voluminous eyes, but it's well worth it. All right, favorite eyeshadow primer recently is the um, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. I just love it. I love having a white base. I used to like having the neutral, like, skin tone base, but now I really like white. And this isn't super white. Like, when you first put it on, you're like, oh my gosh, that's really white. Well, that's not even white, but as white as it can get. And then when you blend it in, it's, like, pretty much gone. The only thing you need to do is set it with, like a white eyeshadow, a matte white eyeshadow before you begin. Otherwise, your eyeshadow, when you're trying to blend, it's not going to blend well. My favorite eyeliner, this one isn't my favorite eyeliner, but it's what I've been using recently. So this is kind of like my April favorite slash everyday makeup routine. Makeup. So if you want to see the tutorial, let me know. But this is the eyeliner I've been using for this look. This is the Urban Decay Glide 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Zero. It's okay. It's not my favorite. My favorite is Milani True Black, which somewhere it is in my drawers and I can't find it, so I have to use this one. And then to set my brows, I've been using the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. It's only a dollar at Target or wherever they sell e.l.f. now. Um, and it's well worth it's just It's just so good. This lasts me for like three to four months. And like, come on, it's a dollar. So like literally I'm going to have to spend like three dollars in a year just for brows. Perfect. 
All right, some favorite tools. Oh no, I didn't say my blush. My favorite blush. This doesn't have a name, but I'm going to find out and list it below like everything else will be. And I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is my physician's formula. This is just one of those like, it's got the pearl on the top. This is for medium to dark skin because I didn't like the light to the medium. And it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. It's got this nice glow to it, so it just makes you look even more livelier. But it's like, you can apply this really heavy-handed if you're not careful, but it just gives you a nice, like, beautiful glow to the cheeks. It's, like, not even there. Love it. Okay, so the tools I have been using and have been obsessed with for, like, years. No, probably, like, a couple of years. No, it's, it would be years because I've had these all forever. Okay, so the first one is the e.l.f. Um, eyelash curler. This is only a dollar. And then you can buy replacement pads for $3, but it comes with two. Re it comes with another replacement pad when you buy this. So I just buy a new one every time it gets crazy. And I'm needing to buy a new one because this is my um, second pad. And it's pretty much cut down and everything like that. My favorite um, bronzer brush is the, I'm looking for a name, this is a Coastal Sense Angled Contour Brush or Blush Brush, I'm not sure what it is called on the website, but this is just a nice one. It's, um, it's soft, it's dense, and when I apply my bronzer I just like to tap it at first and then I'll go in circular motions. So that's a really good bronzer if you need a cheap a bron a contouring brush if you need a cheap one. And then the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush I like to use for bronzing or just to help blend out our contour a little bit more. And this one is by Bare Minerals like I said and this one is just miniature. It does come in a bigger size, but this is what comes in the starter sets. So this is just the one I've been using, but I just like to blend it like this. Good to go. Um, to apply my foundation, this is the Heavenly Face Brush by Berry Essentials. Um, they don't all come with an orange handle. This one's just limited edition or something. It's just basically a flat top kabuki brush. And blend this into your skin, and it's amazing. Um, I think they might have change the bristles too. I think they might be black because my mom has a black one. But it's just so good. It blends it in evenly. Um, this one does need clean right now so I had to go on with another brush. But I always use this one all the time. I don't spray it to apply that foundation. I just use it dry and it looks flawless. It looks just like this. Um, t my favorite eye brush in the world. My eye brushes are always changing but my favorite eye brush that has stayed the same is this fluffy blending brush. Now any fluffy b blending brush will work, um, but this one happens to be by Flirt and they call it an eyeshadow brush, but I just really like this one. It's nice and soft. It's an, like quite large, so I like to set my under eyes with this and also set my um, milk pencil with um, Strange. And then I'll also blend out the edges of my eyeshadow with it as well. Whether I need to pick up Strange again or not, I still use this one all the time. So this is the one I use all the time throughout my makeup look, and I've been using this one for years. And then my favorite blush, blush brush is the Sonia Kashuk. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called, but I will look it up. This one's from a certain collection, but I know they sell it in their permanent line. Um, and it's just a nice, fluffy brush. I don't know if it's called like a fluffy brush brush, a fluffy blush brush. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I just like to tap it on like this and then kind of do circular motions as well. And then for highlighting, um, just any duo fiber fan brush. I don't really have a favorite. Um, I'm trying to look for a new highlighting brush, but that's what I use this time around. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my April favorites slash my everyday makeup routine I've been using. Oh yes, there's one more thing, just joking. Um, these little things, I got them from, I know this one's really dirty, but I got them from Walmart and I'm trying to get to the packaging. These are the always off makeup cloths. They look like this. They're like three bucks or two dollars or something like that at Walmart. And I just like have these setting. They come in a pack of three. And there's like a chevron print, the pink, and then there's like a blue polka dot one. So I just have it so I can like wipe it off. You don't have to apply water or anything. You can just literally wipe off your makeup. You don't need anything. It's like amazing. They're kind of like the beauty eraser. Um, 
thing, which is super exciting. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to see a, um, a tutorial on this look. Um, and that is it, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.